Welcome back to Film Time. With the news of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West divorce, many wondered why their six-year marriage came to an end. Kim was just tired of waiting. She tried to give it a chance. She wanted to do this last year. She gave it plenty of time, but it's just time to move on. There were no affairs. No one did anything bad. They grew apart. Regarding the former couple's four children, North St. Chicago and Psalm, who live with Kim in their Calabasas residence. The insiders share that they are now used to their father's absence. While they have sought joint custody, Connie hasn't been around much with his kids. North has some understanding of what's going on, the source added, but mostly the kids have always seen them apart, so it's super interesting. According to a source, Kim had already prepared the kids for their split, and while the young ones were not fully aware of what the divorce means to their father, they've gotten used to their new environment. Kim expressed to the little kids that she loves their dad, but they need to be apart. They don't fully understand what's going on and are already used to the situation. As for the reality TV star, she's been putting on a brave face during these trying times and is looking to move on from this chapter of her life. Kim is definitely sad, but she feels confident in her decision. She's already felt like she's been divorced for months now. It's been a long time coming and she feels relieved to be able to finally move on. Regarding Yeezy, the source said the rapper is feeling low and too wanted to make it work. He didn't want her to go through the divorce, but agreed it was for the best. He wishes they could have made it work. They came to agreements on all fronts and Kanye was understanding of Kim's wishes. The businesswoman has enlisted the services of lawyer Laura Wasser, who earned the title Disso Queen thanks to her work sorting out the divorces of high-profile celebrities. While both Kardashian West 40 and West 43 were hugely famous before tying the knot, as a couple they leveraged their combined star power to reach new levels of wealth. According to Forbes magazine, Kardashian West is worth $780 million largely through her cosmetics business, KKW Beauty, while West is said to be a billionaire thanks to his massively successful fashion brand Yeezy. They began dating in 2012 while Kardashian West was still legally married to professional basketball player Chris Humphreys and tied the knot at a lavish ceremony in Florence in May 2014. They welcomed the birth of their daughter Northwest in June 2013 before going on to have three more children, daughter Chicago and son Saint and Psalm. The marriage was rarely far from the headlines. In October 2016, Kardashian West was robbed at gunpoint during Paris Fashion Week. In June 2018, West released the album Ye and publicly declared he had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. He had earlier been strongly criticized for suggesting slavery in the U.S. had been a choice. Speculation over the marriage increased over the last year when West announced he was running for president, a decision that brought a mix of bewilderment and scorn. During an early campaign event, West delivered a rambling speech and told a crowd in North Charleston, South Carolina, he and Kardashian considered aborting their first child. In a tirade on Twitter, West claimed his wife, had tried to get him locked up by doctors and revealed that he had previously sought a divorce. He later issued a public apology to Kardashian. She publicly defended him and spoke about his battle with bipolar disorder, saying he is a brilliant but complicated person whose words sometimes do not align with his intentions. Rumors over the marriage reached fever pitch in January, with multiple U.S. outlets suggesting the divorce was imminent. It was claimed West had been living in his ranch in Wyoming, while Kardashian West had been there with the children in California. The source continued by saying she is serious about taking the bar exam and becoming a lawyer. She is serious about her prison reform campaign. Meanwhile, Kanye is talking about running for president and saying other crazy stuff and she just had enough of it. Kanye, for his part, also isn't a fan of Kim's family. He is completely over the entire family. He wants nothing to do with them, adding that Kanye found keeping up with the Kardashians unbearable. So why else are Kim and Kanye divorcing? Kim's breaking point came after an explosive fight she had with Kanye in December 2020 which the two never recovered from. They had a really big fight in early December, the source said. Kanye blew up at Kim and she was really upset. Things between them don't seem to have healed since that. It was also stated at Kanye's presidential campaign rally in July 2020, at which he claimed that he and Kim almost aborted their first child, was another reason for her to leave him. The insider also claimed that Kanye's refusal to receive mental health treatment was another reason for her to call it quits. Kim is done dealing with Kanye's unpredictable behavior. She has tried to get him into treatment for his mental health and all attempts have been unsuccessful. No one can tell Kanye what to do other than Kanye.